Yo, with Casper bouncing from this quadruple bottom, I'm gonna walk you through it, starting from nothing, from a fresh slate, a fresh page. Here we go. This with desktop. First thing you gotta do is we're gonna download. Well, first look up Casware, okay? Yes, I'm not a robot. Oh my god. All right, first download Casware. Go to the just search up Casware, and it's a Google Chrome extension. Thirty thousand users using it. Okay, the ratings are a little not as great because at the start it was a little rough, but it's gone through an entire, like so many upgrades, so many updates. It's very reliable and up to date. So it's great. So you, now that you have it here, you could pin it. This is your extensions, uh, your Chrome extensions. Now you're going to be able to create a new wallet or if you already have a wallet if to create one, you set a password. This password is, is basically just for your local machine. And then you have these 12 words or 24 words. You have to save them. You save, either one of them and then you save it, you can press continue, you know how it works. I already have a wallet and the thing is you could import it from any of these different ones, but every single one of these require a seed phrase. For example, like look, they need a seed phrase. Uh, if you have a private key, you could still import your private key, but you have to do that after. So you either first create a wallet or you import a wallet with a seed phrase and then you'll be able to import a private key. Okay, so if I already have a seed phrase, so let me just put this in. Okay, there we go. And now passphrase is optional. I don't put a passphrase. And again, this is like basically for your local setup, your local PC, and there we go. So now this has a wallet and an account. Uh, this wallet, you click here, you could show the seed phrase if you wanna import it somewhere else. A account, you could export the private key. The private key, you have two wallet addresses linked to it. So if you want to export the private key, you uh, you have two of them right here. Okay, so one for the Casper wallet, one for the EVM wallet, because you see here you have two different wallets in the Casware. So basically, you want to export the EVM private key if you want to have it linked to like a MetaMask later on, for example. With MetaMask, you could import the private key from here. So basically, just extremely versatile. So a seed phrase represents an entire wallet. A private key represents uh, an account, you can have many different accounts within a wallet. And every account here in Casware has a Cas Caspa uh, address and an EVM address, which is cool. It gives you both. Uh, for the sake of it, I'm just gonna import a different wallet here. I'll put in a private key uh, taken from MetaMask. Didn't show that part, but now we, I'm gonna click continue. And this is now the same EVM wallet as in MetaMask. So now that I have my wallet, set up here in Casware, a Google Chrome extension. I have one wallet, I have another wallet. Just, you know, you could create, you could import, you do whatever you want, it's very versatile. Uh, I'm gonna use the second wallet here. Now that I have it set up, now it's just time to fund it with Caspa. I need Caspa. Where do I get Caspa? Well, from any sort of exchange. Let's go to Caspa on CMC real quick. And let's see, where can I get Caspa? Oh yeah. Kraken. Kraken is the best place to buy Caspa. You're going to buy it on Kraken. A link is in my description so you can get $75 for free by depositing and trading $200 of uh, any sort of crypto. It's the best place to buy Caspa. It has the best spot price and has the lowest withdrawal fees. You withdraw the Caspa from Kraken to this address. You paste this address in, in Kraken. You copy it. There you go. And then you paste it. So this address here I'm going to now fund it with Caspa. I'm going to send over Caspa to here. I'll be right back. All right, so I have 626 Caspa, $40 worth of Caspa. I just funded it. There we go. Now the next step is going to be look up Zealous Swap. This is the DEX, decentralized exchange for buying Nacho. This is the first DEX on the Caspa ecosystem. It has a large liquidity. It's the best place to buy uh, in a decentralized way for the best price as well. So within here, the first step actually is going to be to click bridge and go to CAS bridge. Okay, KRC20 bridge is for bridging KRC20 tokens. Right now we need to get CASPA L1 to the L2. We need to move it, we need to bridge it. So where this is asking me to install MetaMask, you actually don't need to. You could stay within Casware. I suggest staying within Casware. it makes it simpler. So you can connect a wallet here. Good. So there we go, that's the wallet. Connect it 626 CAS. And the address here is now where you're going to go to Casware. Oops. You're going to go to Casware Wallet. And you're going to copy your EVM address. This address here represents the EVM. The layer two is the Casplex ZK EVM. We're going to paste it here. This is where we're going to send it to. You don't need to connect to MetaMask. If you did connect, you would connect and it'll automatically use the, the wallet connected to MetaMask. But here we're just going to paste it because we don't, we're gonna stay within Casware. 
And now the amount I'm gonna send, we're gonna start off with 520, click send. It's gonna take about a minute and it's gonna ask me to sign it. I'm gonna sign and there we go. It's gonna send right here. That's the beautiful part about Castware is that you have these two tabs representing the layer one KRC20 uh, and then the, the layer two EVM. KRC20 is an inscription on the layer one. Technically it's also a layer two, but uh, EVM is, is the extension is Casplex ZK EVM. It's essentially like using the Ethereum virtual machine. This is the layer two for Casper. This is where smart contracts are launched on Casper right now. Eventually it'll be Eager Labs. Eventually there'll be Sparkle. Eventually there'll be VProgs. Those are all more layers. Uh, VProgs are gonna be on the layer one, but these are all layers that are gonna be able to work with Haspa itself. It'll be essentially very seamless. And this bridge as well, it's not gonna be having this bridge once zero knowledge proofs come out. It's gonna be a trustless bridge. It's not gonna have any sort of intermediate party kind of uh, having that centralized control. So that's where we are right now. Look at that, already bridged, very fast, very cool. So we have 519 Caspa here. So now I'm gonna go back to Zilla Swap. You could like put bookmarks and all that. Uh, I'm gonna connect the wallet. I'm gonna connect to Casware. Uh, yep, connect and switch to Casplex ZK AVM. So now that we are connected, everything looks good. You could even go to portfolio and look at your Casper that you have, the holdings that you have. So now I'm going to go to swap and click Caspa. Now go down here, click Nacho, and this is where you buy. This is where you buy Nacho. And the thing, the cool thing to start off with is just do one nacho, just to see what the price is, for example. You could even click, um, not that chart, you could click swap chart to look at the literal chart. Ooh, it was down, it's going back up. Okay, so yeah, I mean, I was, I saw when it was down here and I'm like, dang, man, I wanna buy some nacho down here. This is essentially looking at nacho in terms of Caspa, uh, the price history. So yeah, it's a bit, of, a bit of a dip right now, which is a beautiful time too load up. They're in terms of each other. This is the pair. I'm going to close that for now. And this is, again, the price that you're going to get. Every nacho, this is the price in terms of Caspa. It's good to see. So I'm going to do something like, may have to bridge some more over. I really wanted that one mil, man. Anyways, I'm bridging over another hundred cast because I want that one mil nacho. So here we go. It's going to take another like, I don't know, 30 seconds or something. And we're going to get it right here. So there we have it. The Casper bridged over and we're going to now try to get that 1 million nacho. How much does it cost to get 1 million nacho at these prices so early on? Man, I can't even wait. Like in the coming year, next year, two years, nacho is going to trade like a Shiba Inu, like the bonk, the leading meme coin of every blockchain. This is your leverage on the native coin. There we go. 531 Caspa for a million nacho. Basically around 34 bucks to get a million nacho. I love it. So I don't have a sufficient cash. All right, let me just reload the page. There we go, a little recalculate the swap. And there we go. It has a two, two cent fee, gas fee. I'm gonna click sign. There we go. It's about, about a 0.4 cash fee. No problemo. Sign completed. And take a sec for the swap to happen. And there we go. Now that it's added, you click add to add to the wallet. It should already add by default, but I'm just gonna add it there. So now there it is, it popped up. There's Nacho on the ZK EVM. So now that I have Nacho, I might as well stake it. So staking it, I'm gonna earn uh, fees. I'm gonna earn from platform revenue on Moonbound. I'm gonna earn from Zealous Swap, the fees generated from swapping. Uh, there's always a little bit of like, if you saw from the swap, there's like very small percent uh, for every single transaction, much smaller than marketplaces. So it's like 0.3% fee. It's very similar to a centralized exchange in terms of fees. There's always that like that uh, ask, that maker fee, the taker fee, that sort of thing. Anyways, staking is you're gonna earn from Zealous Swap revenue, you're gonna earn from Moonbound revenue and more as the ecosystem grows. Fervent Finance is, another, is gonna be another revenue stream and uh, more projects that the Cat Foundation builds all gonna reward nacho holders. So I'm gonna stake the nacho here, the max amount and stake it. All right, I'm gonna sign the transaction, very small fee, gas fee, signed and let's go. So that's it and already the, the claimable, oh, we have one more, one more signature. Signed, created, there we go, that's in there. Honestly, you know, I kind of should have just done the full 1 million, just 1 million, just so it's easier to track. But basically the distributed rewards 
already $400 was distributed to the stakers. What's cool is that you literally, the claimable amount, you're going to keep seeing this number increase. So literally it increased by whatever amount you staked, multiply that by 1.0075, and that's how much rewards was generated for the first week of staking Nacho. That's what the pool has generated from Moonbound platform. What it comes down to is the claimable Nacho. This claimable amount is going to increase every week, and that's going to represent how much extra Nacho your staking has generated. And you could unstake it, and when you unstake it, you're going to claim that total amount. So next week, this number may just hit an extra like 500 Nacho or something like that. Whatever it does, it's going to be it's going to be adding to how much you earn. And the longer you keep it here, the better because the rewards, they accumulate compound interest. Because we're going to soon be able to bridge the Nacho NFT as well. It's going to be more ways to earn from all these platform revenue streams. So there we go. That's how you buy Nacho. Again, you can buy all sorts of things. Uh, that's just the way to buy Nacho. And yes, now that you have it, it's going to be now added to your wallet as X Nacho. This represents the staked Nacho. Okay, and the reason why it doesn't show like exact one to one, because again, you have to price in the fact that the pool, the pool for Nacho uh, staking farm, it's 0 0.0075. So it's not one to one. So the people that already staked before me, before I just did this, they have a little more X Nacho. Uh, they have a little bit more claimable rewards than I do. So I still, can, if I claim it, I'm going to still get this exact uh, quantity. That's just in case you were wondering why this shows less than a million, because it's in terms of X Nacho. X Nacho, the pool is going to grow. And as more rewards come in, I'm going to have more X Nacho. And it's going to be able to be claimable for more Nacho is essentially what it comes down to. The math works. That's how to buy Nacho on a DEX. This gives you the best price for every Nacho token while keeping it decentralized. That's what it's all about. So this here's the DEX, here we go. And then USDT, USDC, we'll see when all of that gets integrated on L2 as well, because we already know more integrations are coming uh, very soon. We, we already know that. It's all coming down to basically like when the integration happens. The Casplex network, they're going to, the word on the street, they're gonna release their nodes, make them public uh, this week. So once that happens, that could be the, the catalyst for either um, for more integrations or for being able to start such integration with the Casplex network, the layer two. So that's pretty cool. Um, so definitely some things to look out for, especially with Nacho, man. There's so much like people that are like, where's the listings? Where's the listings? <laughs> Yo, you're, there's, there's going to be listings. Let me tell you that. Yeah, I'm not I'm not going to share too much. But, but yeah, that's how to buy Nacho with the Zealous Swap DEX. Again, this has the best liquidity. You can just confirm that by going to cast.fyi and go to L2 Networks. And here we go, total value locked. That's represents like just how much money is in the platform. This, this is a DEX, this is a DEX, this is a DEX. I don't even know if, if uh, Casper.com has liquidity for Nacho yet. They might, they have very little though. Like KSPR, I think they have uh, liquidity for Nacho. But again, they have very little. So the best place is just to, to get the most bang for your buck. You'd swap on the decks that has the most liquidity. So it doesn't just like pump up the price a lot. In like manner, if you want to sell, you do it on the decks with the most liquidity. So it doesn't just dump and give you less money for your nacho, for example. That's why you really want to use Zealous as well as using Zealous. It's going to, if you're staking, you're going to be earning uh, from even just using it. All right, let me know if you have any questions. And uh, I'll definitely do my best to answer them. So, yeah, on that note, peace out.